Welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Alright, uh, the original key is in the key of F. So... So it's a bit difficult because uh, it's got a bunch of bar chords. Uh, if uh, I will show you how to do it a couple different ways, okay? So uh, let's start with this one, but I'll show you it with a capo where it's very simple. So if you're looking for the simple one, fast forward a little bit. So F chord, you borrow the whole first fret, uh, third string, second fret, fifth and fourth string at the third fret. My pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. If you have trouble with that, just say it. Say it out loud. Literally say it like I did. Down, down, up, up, down, up, and you'll get it. It's something about if you can say it, you can play it. All right, so B flat is the, a nasty chord. It's fifth string, first fret. You bar with your third finger, four, three, and two, and you play it at such an angle that your first string gets muted. My sixth string gets muted by that index finger sticking up into it. Same pattern, back to F, and then a C7. C7 is 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret, 3rd string, 3rd fret. I'm going to get rid of the 6th string. So here you're in the original key, F to B flat, back to F, and then a C7. And it follows that throughout the whole song. Uh, you could vary it like, I eat the jungle, the mighty jungle. Lion sleeps too. Not you could do it during those verses. You could change it to just one strum down, and then come back in. When everybody's going, you know, I, I can't sing high. I can't sing at all. So, uh, you know, the wima wop and all that stuff. You could uh, you could start strumming during that part. All right. Uh, so that's it in the original key. But here, look at this. You put the capo at the third fret, just like free falling by Tom Petty. And now you're going to use much easier D chord to a G chord, back to D, and then an A7. So that was the capo third fret. D chord is the third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to mute the sixth string with my thumb leaning over like that. Strum down, down, up, up, down, up. Then I'm going to go to my G chord, six and first string at the first fret, fifth string, second fret. You can do the G chord with the two fingers, like if you're using all four fingers, and you can do that one too, it's not a big deal. Either one, they both work. Back to D. Not my A7 chord, which is fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret. And I'm going to mute that 6th string because it gets kind of muddy down there. And that's it. So D. In the jungle, the mighty jungle is G. Uh, the line D's to A7. Uh, and you can strum that again. You could go. Uh, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the line sleeps to not. Uh, and then a wee ma walk. You could do this. It follows this pattern throughout the entire song. So it's wicked simple, great to play because you only have to remember the one pattern. Um, and you can make it simple that way. Now, uh, a lot of people might just change it. So uh, talking about like transposing, right? So instead of playing it in F, the next choice would probably be G because it's so close, right? But that does change it. It's not in the same key anymore. Um, because of F, you know, and if, if I had to use my capo to use a G shape, I'd be way up here, so my capo would be like at the 10th fret or something, and uh, that wouldn't work out too well. So, if, because, um, you know, I, I, the capo is your first choice if, if you're having problems with the bar chords, if you want to make the uh, song simpler. Uh, but if, uh, so an F chord's your one chord, right? So in the key of F, F is one. B flat is your four chord in F, so F G A B flat is your F uh, your four chord in in the key of F. C seven is your five chord. F G A B flat C C is your five chord or C seven. Um, they're basically same function, so same family. 
All right, so if we move it to G, now G is our 1, G, A, B, C is our 4, D7 is our 5 chord. So there, that's how you transpose. Uh, you don't have to put it on your finger, but <laughs> so you got a G chord to a C chord to your 4 chord, back to your 1 chord, G, and then D7. So with simple sounds like this, it's pretty, pretty easy. That's, that's how you should learn how to transpose is with real simple songs like this. And then you can uh, you get the idea and then you can do it with more complex songs. So there's a little uh, little transposing lesson for you. Uh, maybe you already know that. I don't know. What do I know? All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, thank you very much. We are up to, we're very close to, what are we, 2190 at the last count subscribers. So thank you all. All right. Have a good day.